Ma'am, you are in a mute mode, ma'am. Okay, is it fine, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Now it's audible, ma'am. Okay. If the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to see every problem as a name. Abraham Maslow, psychologist, said that technology is a very versatile tool. A bit like a screwdriver. A screwdriver can screw and unscrew screws. It can also be used to pry open paint. Tinglets be used as a stirrer, as a hole punch, as a hammer, as a tool for reaching the object that is always just out of reach, etc. A tool is defined as anything that adds us in accomplishing a task. Tools and techniques can be broadly defined as a practical methods and skills applied to specific activities to enable improvements. It's a very basic thing that how can we use and how can we utilize the ICT tools. ICT and uh, IT and ICTs are very often interchangeably used in the context of modern technology infrastructure. ICT is a broad and comprehensive term, which comprises uh, information technology and communication technology. Information technology includes radio, television, computer, and internet, teleconferencing, and uh, mobile technology all these information technologies are powered by mainly two types of communication technologies these are satellite based communication and uh, terrestrial based communication satellite based communication is the communication which takes place between sender and receiver through a communication satellite whereas uh, terrestrial based communication is the communication this type of communication used uh, in the transmission of radio and television in India. However, with the launch of a series of satellites by Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, satellite-based communication is being used for telecommunication. The components of ICT are presented, and it's a tool that how can uh, it's uh, organizing, and uh, it's very common that anything that is in our busy at our tools and powerful things we use hundreds of them every day for a multitude of simple and complex purposes an alarm clock wakes up we clean our teeth with one we brush our hair with another we iron our clothes we butter our toast etc all with tools it's a uh, important parts of our daily life so use of computer based technology Computer-based services can be used to search for and find relevant information in a range of contexts. Computer-based services can be used to retrieve information using a variety of media. Computer-based services uh, can be used to write, analyze, present, and communicate information. 
it's basically a part of uh, technology communication tools to collaborate publish and interact with peers experts and audiences technology research tools to locate information to process data and report results technology productivity tools construct models technology problem solving and decision making tools so it's a satellite based communication terrestrial based communication information technologies radio television computer internet transforming mobile communicating information effectively by uh, making use of appropriate technology is called information and communication technology in all ict is an uh, umbrella term that includes many communication devices such as radio television cellular phones computers and network satellite systems and so on according to the united nations development program icts are basically information handling tools a varied set of goods applications and services that are used to produce store process distribute and exchange information they include the old icts of radio television and uh, and uh, telephone and the new icts of computers satellites and wireless technology and the internet this different tools are now able to work together and combine to form a networked world a massive infrastructure of interconnected telephone services standardized uh, computer hardware the internet radio and television which reaches into every corner of the globe department of uh, government the term information and communication technology refers to forms of technology that are used to transmit store create display share or exchange information by electronic names this brand definition of ict includes such technologies as radio video and dvd telephone both fixed line and mobile phones satellite systems computer and network hardware and uh, software as well as the equipment and services associated with these technologies such as uh, video conferencing email and blogs so icts are needed at every institute following there are many different different activities just like uh, teaching learning diagnostic testing and remedial teaching evaluation activities uh, psychological analysis of learners development of reasoning and thinking abilities among students instructional material development ICT for teaching and learning, teaching, diagnostic testing and remedial teaching, development of reasoning and thinking, instru instructional material development and evaluation. So psychological analysis of a learner that how can they analyze and is instructional material development. ICT in teaching learning process. Most teachers feel comfortable is in using lecture method, which is not capable of achieving various objectives of classroom instruction. ICT may be of great use in achieving various objectives of teaching learning process. It provides correct information in a comprehensive manner with different examples. It helps learners uh, to broaden their information base. ICT provides variety in the presentation of content which helps learners to learn according to their own pace. It helps in better understanding and long retention of information. Multiple uses of technology, Thomas et al. 2002. Technology can be used as a tool for inquiry, a tool for construction, a tool for communication, a tool for expression, a tool for productivity, and a tool to assist in problem solving and the making of informed decisions. Any technology which increases the rate of learning would enable the teacher to teach less and the learner to learn more. ICT for diagnostic testing and remedial teaching. Being a teacher, you must have experienced that there are some students who fail to understand certain concepts or retain certain information for a long time. Due to large class size, non availability of diagnostic tests in different subjects, lack of training resources, 
and uh, desire on the part of teacher etc teachers do not uh, conduct diagnostic test and provide remedial teaching here ict can help the conduct diagnostic test and provide remedial teaching ict can help the teachers as well as students in identifying the problem area tests can be made uh, available on the website of the college or institute and students can access them from home also these practices can be monitored by parents also it's not easy to organize also these practices can be monitored by parents and uh, it's uh, not easy to uh, remedial program for individual students as problems identified may be of uh, varied nature for this ict can be used for developing preparing and delivering individual remedial program these programs may be online or offline the instructional materials is designed specifically for meeting the individual needs of students and are uploaded on the college website would definitely uh, benefit students in this way ict can be used for providing remedial teaching to students information technology applications the distributed and self paced learning at any time anywhere the world wide web www provides unlimited data and experiences electronic messaging virtual learning environments uh, ict in evaluation the objective of uh, any examination system is to access the academic performance of students ict can be used in educational evaluation online test can be used to by individual student to evaluate his or her learning students can instantly get the feedback about the status of his or her understanding if the answer is wrong see or he even get the correct answer not only students even teachers can also use it to access their own understanding of the subject it's also a psychological testing learning use of computer based technology learning from the technology learning about the technology learning with the technology it's uh, ict in, in psychological testing there are individual differences institutes do not have a trained psychologist who can access the students on some of the correlates of academic achievement it is uh, easy to digitalize all the psychological tests including the scoring process and evaluation the same way we available on the website and students and teachers can use them whenever required even a student can use it individually and can share the results with the teacher who can help him her to improve his or her academic performance this ict can be used in psychological testing also new digital paradigm ICT become a key element in economic development. ICT plays significant role in the growth of societies and economies and poverty alleviation. ICT provides more responsive and transparent governance as well as improving the reach and delivery of health, education, and other social services. ICT for developing reasoning and thinking abilities among students. ICT can be used in many subjects. ICT provides students a variety of instructional material, and they can choose those that suit them the best. ICT can be used for developing reasoning and thinking abilities among students belonging to different age groups. This is important in the present context, as most educational institutions do not pay attention to development of reasoning and thinking abilities among students. information and communication technology there are uh, information technology is defined as a study or use of electronic equipment especially computers for storing analyzing and sending out information communication technology is the process of sending receiving and exchanging information ict for developing instructional materials at present there is a shortage of qualified and competent teachers in almost uh, all subjects at all levels sometimes instructional materials available in the print from 
are not of quality and updated the textbook reading is very often not uh, enjoyable and does not help the students in understanding the concepts and retaining the information there are many teachers who are well known in different subject areas their lectures should be recorded in cd rom or should be made available to all the users through broadcast on radio and television it enhances the quality of instruction in the classrooms the teacher can also use them to organize discussion after their presentation on broadcast teachers can even uh, directly download these lectures it it makes teaching effective participatory and enjoyable so digitalized lectures can be uploaded on websites and student teachers can access them as per their needs icts and their applications in teaching and learning there are many just like uh, if you uh, ict literacy ict literacy basically involves using digital technology communication tools and or access manage integrate evaluate and create information in order to function in a knowledge society all of us know that radio is a very powerful medium for transmitting information so or to a large group of population it saves time energy money and human resources in an effective way radio can be used as an effective tool in education both for formal and non formal education radio technology was developed during the 8th 19th century and came into popular using uh, during the early 19th century 20th century so you must have listened to some educational programs either on all india radio or uh, on fm channels there are generally two types of programs some programs are informative or for entertainment purposes and other programs are educational in nature so these programs are meant primarily for educational purposes let's understand the process through which we can use radio programs in our regular classrooms using a uh, radio programs in classroom uh, radio programs in classroom situation are very useful for teaching and learning now adis uh, gyanwani radio channel of igno gyanwani channel of uh, igno and all india radio regularly broadcast many educational programs these programs are both uh, for teachers and students so it's a uh, radio broadcast for uh, all types of student the topic of broadcast is our uh, environment and uh, there are many many different subjects just like uh, uh, social science environment and uh, many management subjects preparing class for a radio lesson prepare yourself your class and your students for a radio class so collect advance information of broadcast timing and topic from all india radio or local radio station or from gyanwani studio which is going to broadcast this lesson so uh, some objectives questions and activities related to the topic uh, environment in advance to facilitate the students and identify a proper place to keep the radio so as to ensure its uh, adaptability to all students the sitting arrangement should be in uh, such a way so that all the students listen to the broadcast clearly one more important thing that motivate your students to listen to the program carefully and to take notes of important things being uh, explained by the experts during the broadcast major role of ict as a source of knowledge as a medium to transmit knowledge as a means of interaction and dialogue so uh, it's a main major source of uh, knowledge and medium to transmit knowledge it's a uh, television or tv tv is another important medium of disseminating information to us viewers it's a combination of audio and visual technology and thus considered to be more effective than audio media like radio you must have seen the use of television for multiple purposes of entertainment information and education because of its better accessibility it can bring learning materials to the masses in more direct effective and personal way than other educational media using television in classroom there is a variety of educational programs telecast on television ranging from 
monologue, dialogue, interview, demonstration lessons, panel discussions, quiz, and drama to simulated classrooms, etc. You can use them in your classroom as per their utility in your subject. So uh, tally cost on the topic. And what is the main resource? What is the resources? The telecast was based on the topic resources. This was a uh, doc documentary based on resources. In the beginning, Anchor introduced the concept of resources and uh, told about types of resources with the help of some pictures. And uh, uh, the documentary focused on various natural resources, their distribution, occurrence, uses, and uh, impact on human life. Documentary ended with a message on resource conservation and one more thing is very important that to prepare learning objectives questions and arrange materials for a demonstration if required and during the tally cost there are ict characteristics there are effectiveness efficiency innovation more interactive fewer errors customized personalized achievable transparent, searchable, faster efficiency, cheaper, fewer steps, less people, and less paperwork. Innovation, new products, new techniques, new technologies, uh, uh, prepare learning objectives, and if telecost is interactive in nature, arrange a telephone in the class for facilitating the students to ask the experts about their queries. And uh, note down important points discussed by experts during the telecast. Note down those activities. Motivate students to learn more and more from the experts. Uh, and after that, after that, follow up the situation. Ask students questions to ensure the achievement of learning objectives. Apart from follow up, evaluation of program is also an important activities. The program evaluation can be done by you as well as your students about the quality, relevance, ease of understanding, and expert's attitude. This is helpful in improving the quality of the program. From a professional development point of view, the, uh, these programs are also very relevant. You can acquire updated knowledge, develop new skills, and teaching strategies. Your interaction with experts helps uh, you to clear your own doubts as well as facilitate you to sharpen your teaching skills there are many benefits uh, of edu uh, television as an educational tool educational telecast brings uniformity in the content and communication the expert in telecast is regarded as a master teacher in practical subjects like science uh, and uh, risky experiments can be demonstrated through telecast Telecost is a time-saving means of content dissemination. Telecost draw attention of learners to the relevant content as irrelevant content are removed with the help of editing program. So, educational uses of computer. There are so uh, advantages of ICT, just like a resource sharing, wide variety of services flexibility, reliability, faster speed, and cheaper cost. Educational uses of computer, uh, management of learning, testing, tutoring, exercising as a calculator, as a laboratory, uh, producing teaching learning materials, dissemination of material, and medium of expression, drill and practice. Drill and practice is the simplest form of CL, a series of exercises presented to a student by the computer. The student gives a response. The response is processed by the computer, and accordingly, new activity is designed. Exercises can be created by the computer by avoiding repetition. The items can be selected randomly from the list and presented. Sometimes uh, the series is presented as it is, and also endless exercises can be provided. And as, an, as a response to the exercise, the program either asks the student to try again, Till it is right or provides a ch chance or just states the right answer. The responses are also analyzed to mark the success or to assert the need or more study. So the questions, the drill and practice are of these types, filling the blanks, odd man out, correct or wrong, answer, 
in a word and sentence, multiple choices, activities like drawing, measuring, and arranging objects are also possible on computer. Generally, writing the long answer is avoided in CL. Tutorial conversation on dialogue, games, simulation. Simulation of few real uh, life experiences or phenomena cannot be learned directly. The experiments may be time consuming, expensive, difficult, or sometimes dangerous. Vision of atom. Computer can be used to simulate a real life system by following a set of rules which approximate the behavior of the real system. The rules specified for simulation may be simple or complex and quality of approximation can be gone so various levels of approximation can be provided in the same simulation course where it allows effects of increasing experimental error there are uh, it overcomes the difficulties and complexities of real phenomena by using idealized conditions for example increase or decrease in demands and uh, supplies of commodities to see their effects on the market economy it overcomes the prohibitive cost of laboratory or field work based experiments. For example, providing variety of assets with different uh, densities in a laboratory for one single experiment. Databases and uh, narrative and presentational. In this mode, a computer screen is used to present material to subject in a form sometimes referred to as an electronic blackboard, along with normal verbal approach movement and animation can be used with colors and uh, music simple presentations can easily be developed by teachers to introduce learners to new information just like a teacher uh, can develop the slide slows using ms powerpoint or even develop web pages using front page there are many advantages of cal the learning process could be strengthened in many ways through these modes advantages of the cal approach are as mentioned just like uh, CL is individualized that is each student is free to work at his and her own totally uh, unaffected by the performance of any other students it can provide a method of instruction designed for self-directive study it helps in improving skills or achieving objectives at different difficulty so information is presented in a structured form. It proves useful in the study of uh, a subject in which there is hierarchy of facts and rules. The most popular and uh, the, the role of ICT learning, the ICT helps to provide interactive learning experiences. Mm -hmm. ICT stimulate and motivate learners. ICT provide comfortable learning. ICT tools adds off in the understanding of difficult concepts and process. ICT caters to different learning styles. ICT helps students to gain valuable computer skills. ICT adds in collaboration and uh, group work. So how does internet work? Well, the working of internet appears to be complex. It's using day-to-day -day activities. It's found to be very simple. Let's suppose that every house in our locality is equivalent to a device that uses internet, such as a smartphone or a tablet computer. The addresses that the houses have are just similar to the IP address, which is unique and unavailable for any other device all around the world. The post and phone calls that arrive in the house or sources through which the word connects to the house and to the same medium the people in the houses communicate with the house and word so writing down the mails or picking the phone instrument to make it uh, quite similar to connecting to the internet or other operating a web browser educational applications of internet easy contact encyclopedia news college projects online learning multimedia communication learning from home online discussion so educational applications of internet provide different different educational applications of internet ict tools in education word processing documents notes projects assignments spreadsheet programming records uh, exam scores databases information storage graphing software to prepare teaching learning resources developing multimedia kits to make process interesting 
internet and email facilities to gain knowledge, games and simulations to improve quality. of learning easy call children easily using internet School and college projects the internet can be most useful for a company. Levels, as the internet is full of information pertaining to different Ma'am, sorry to interrupt, ma'am. Dear participants, a resource person will be joining us shortly. Kindly hold on. Dear participants, the resource person will be joining us shortly. There's a technical issue. Kindly hold on.
Ma'am, you are you are in mute, ma'am. Kindly unmute yourself, ma'am. Ma'am, am I audible, ma'am? Ma'am, you are in a mute mode. Kindly unmute. Yes, ma'am. I'm. Am I audible, ma'am? Yeah. Right now, you're audible, ma'am. Okay, okay. Just a wait. Ma'am, can you show my PPT? Ma'am, you want me to share it? Just wait, just wait. OK, ma'am, I shared a PPT. Is it visible? No, ma'am, it's not visible. Not visible. Just a Okay. Uh, am I audible, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. You're audible, ma'am. Okay. A visual representation of knowledge, a way of structuring information into organized patterns, a way to promote active learning, a way to access students' previous experience and knowledge. Ma'am, but are... your slide is not visible, ma'am. Okay. Just a bit, ma'am. Just a bit. I don't know why it's not shared. Ma'am, shall I do it, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, is it the slide, ma'am? Ma'am, is it the slide, ma'am? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Shall I start, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. OK, OK. So there are some benefits of graphs, just like uh, there is a clarity of message, simplicity of design, and clarity of words, integrity of intentions, and action. Students help through these graphs that they can explain their messages and they what, what they want and what actually they uh, construct meaning based on prior knowledge and experience. Experience enables individuals to build mental model or schemes. Uh, this knowledge is not out there, independent of the learner and the learner passively receives. Rather, knowledge is created through an active process in which the learner transforms information, constructs uh, hypotheses, and makes decisions using her mental models through gaps. A form of constructivism called social constructivism also emphasizes the role of the teacher, parents, peers, and other community members in helping learners to master concepts that they would not be able to understand on their own for social constructivist and learning must be active, contextual, and social. It is best done in a group setting with the teacher as facilitator or guide. So we are living in a constantly evolving digital world. 
ICT has an impact on nearly every aspect of our lives, from working to socializing, learning to playing. The digital age has transformed the way young people communicate. Networks seek help, access information, and learn. We must recognize that young people are now an online a population and accesses through a variety of means, such as computers, TV, and mobile phones. As technology becomes more and more embedded in our culture, we must provide our learners with uh, relevant and contemporary experiences that allow them to successfully engage with technology and prepare them for life after school or college. It is widely recognized that learners are motivated and purposefully engaged in the learning process when concepts and skills are with technology and sound pedagogy, learning and tech teaching Scotland apps to provide uh, resources for practitioners, parents, and students to engage with these technologies in order to inform and enhance the learning experiences. There is some impact of ICT on students' achievements. The positive impact of ICT use in education has not been proven in general. And despite thousands of impact studies, the impact of ICT use on student achievement remains difficult to measure and open to much reasonable debate. Uh, positive impact more likely when linked to pedagogy. It is believed that specific uses of ICT can have positive effects on student achievement. When ICTs are used appropriately to competent uh, teachers accessing pedagogical philosophies, computer added instruction has been seen to slightly improve student performance on multiple choice standardized testing in some areas. Need for clear goals. ICTs are seen to be less effective when the goals for their use are not clear. While such a statement uh, would appear to be self-evident, the specific goals for ICT use in education and in practice are often um, only very broadly or rather loosely defined. There is an important tension between traditional versus new pedagogies and standardized testing. Traditional transmission type pedagogies are seen as more effective in preparation for standardized teach testing, which tends to measure the results of such teaching practices. There are more constructivist pedagogical styles. A mismatch between methods used to measure effects and type of learning promoted. In many studies, there are, uh, may be a mismatch between the methods to measure effects and the nature of the learning promoted by the specific uses of ICT. Uh, just like uh, some studies have looked only for improvements in traditional teaching and learning process and uh, knowledge mastery instead of uh, looking for new process and uh, knowledge related to the use of ICTs, it may be that more useful analysis of the impact of ICT can only emerge when the methods used to measure achievement and outcomes are more closely related to the learning activities and process promoted by the use of ICTs. ICTs are used differently in different different uh, subjects just like the use of uh, ICTs for simulations and modeling in science and math have been shown to be effective. As have word processing and communication software remain in the development of student language and communication skills, access outside of school affects impact. The relationships between in class student computer use, out of class student computer use, and student achievement are unclear. However, students in uh, many countries reporting a greatest amount of computer use outside school or seen in some studies to have lower than average achievement. ICT make a positive difference in the studies they, that uh, impact of ICT on student motivation. ICTs motivate teachers and students. These, there appears to be general and that both teachers and students feel ICT use greatly contributes to student motivation for learning. Access outside of school affects user confidence. Students who use a computer at home also use them in school more frequently and with more confidence than people who have no home access. Where to place computers has an impact. 
placing computers in classrooms enables uh, much greater use of ICTs for higher order skills than placing computers in separate computer laboratories. Indeed, fewer computers in classrooms enable even more use than greater numbers of computers located in separate computer labs. Related to this is an increasing attention given to the use of laptops by both teachers and students, and in some cases, computers on wheels, as well as to a much lesser extent to the use of personal digital assignments and uh, other mobile devices. It's, uh, it's uh, that models of successful integrating ICT using school and after school hours are still emerging. So uh, it's uh, then there are some other things, and there are some very important things that uh, uh, knowledge maps come in different different forms. And uh, preparation of knowledge maps, just like a uh, generate ideas, structure ideas, compute the key map, edit the key map, present the key map, evaluate the key map. It's a uh, kind of K maps, brainstorming maps, and task specific maps. What are the different types of knowledge maps? Hierarchical organizers, comparative organizers, sequential organizers, cyclical organizers, conceptual organizers. Hierarchical organizers present main ideas and supporting details in ranking order. Comparative organizers depict similarities among key concepts. Sequential organizers illustrate a series of steps or place events in a chronological order. Cyclical organizers depict a series of events that have no beginning or end. Conceptual organizers include a main concept with supporting facts, evidence, or characteristics, probably at 1998. There are some uh, brainstorming maps, concept map, mind map, fishbone map, spider map it's a it's a it's a brainstorming maps components of concept maps notes represent concepts lines represent relations between concepts levels levels on the lines describe the nature of the relationship arrow hats indicate direction of the relationship and concept map c map Concept may have main topic in the center and lines radiating in all directions with subtopics and facts branching off from uh, the main topic. So it's a uh, task specific maps, bubble map, double bubble map, circle map, chain of events, clustering map, cycle map, brace map, Venn diagram, interaction outline, problem solution, persuasion map, time order map, E map flow map and tree map. These are the task specific maps. What is the mind mapping? If we talk about the mind mapping, mind mapping was originated by Tony Bizan in 1971. Mind mapping uh, involves writing down a central idea and thinking up new and related ideas which radiate out from the center, then looking for branches out and connections between the ideas. Mind mapping involves writing down a central idea and thinking up new and related ideas which radiate out from the center. Then looking for branches out and connections between the ideas. Fishbone mapping. The head of the fish represents a problem, issue, or project. The ribs of the fish represent component parts of the problem and related elements of each part. It helps to identify explore and uh, display the possible causes of the problem. Double bubble map. This map is used for comparing and uh, contrasting two things. It's like uh, two characters in a story, two historical figures, two social systems. If you see this diagram, you can see that circle map. Circle map is used for seeing context and brainstorming. It has two concentric circles. In the middle of the circle, you put the key ideas. And the outside circle, you put everything you know about those ideas. 
I repeat these lines. It has two concentric circles. In the middle of the circle, you put the key ideas. And outside circle, you put everything you know about those ideas. It's clustering map. Clustering map is a, a and brain map. This map is used for identifying the part whole physical relationship of an objective by representing whole part and part subpart the relationships. This map supports learners, special reasoning, and uh, the different different types of uh, multimedia the use of multimedia and education has recently become more common and uh, teachers have been using multimedia as a teaching learning tool for years this is uh, because multimedia offers the experiences of listening watching and working in a computer mediated setting it can be exciting interesting motivating and uh, help students achieve learning objectives in new ways the use of sound, photographs, and uh, video enables the use to experience the real world situations, which may not be uh, possible with the more conventional methods of instruction. And there are different different types of multimedia, just like there are numerous types of multimedia. Let's discuss different forms of multimedia: uh, talking books and speech, film, story books, computer simulations, video disc, hypermedia. So it's uh, there are very uh, much diff benefits of using multimedia applications in classroom. You can engage and motivate students to participate in classroom activities. As the use of multimedia and teaching learning makes it more interesting and interactive. It provides students with an opportunity to fill a different classroom environment. You can use audio, video, multimedia applications, CDs in absence of computer, internet facilities, so that the students can get benefited. And the multimedia applications are of great use with those students who have some learning difficulty or disability. So multimedia turns the classroom environment from teacher-centered to student-centered. Mobile learning, brain breast map through mobile learning, mobile phones first. Uh, earlier in the, around uh, 1995 in India and uh, since then their application has grown education through mobile is often referred as am learning this that is a mobile learning that is am learning am learning makes education more accessible as it enables learners to pursue their studies according to their own schedule the profit Portability of mobile technology enables students to learn at all times and at all places for those in rural or remote areas. In rural areas, it's uh, <clears throat> not much effective, but in remote areas where environmental and structural challenges and under uh, learning modalities, particularly uh, e-learning, am learning presents great opportunities. M learning provides uh, potential may move forward for the expansion of education programs to larger segments of the population. M learning allows a method of educational delivery that could be more cost effective than other methods. Mobile phone in education can be used in the many ways, just like use SMS to send definitions, small formula, math equations, different uh, words. So, it's very that how can be uh, used and how can be it's very common that uh, how can be used and uh, how it's uh, map is used for identifying the part whole physical relationship of an objective and by representing whole part and part sub part relationships so technology is a very versatile tool just like as i earlier says that like a screwdriver a screwdriver can screw and unscrew screws so it can also be used to pry open paint tin nets be used as a stirrer as a hole punch as a hammer as a tool for reaching the object that is always uh, in a way it's uh, 
so it's not mean that it's a uh, basic things it's it's uh, representing whole part and parts of the models for successful integrating ICT using school and after college are still emerging. These are few uh, successful models for the integration of uh, student computer use at home or in other informal settings outside of the school facilities with using school. So uh, ICT can promote learner autonomy. Evidence exists that use of ICTs can increase learner autonomy for certain learners. Gender affects impact uses of ICTs in education in many cases to be affected by the gender of the learner. The pilot effect can be an important driver for positive impact. So ICT related interventions in education that introduce a new tool for teaching and learning. They show improvements merely because the efforts surrounding such interventions lead teachers and students to go more, potentially diverting energies and resources from other activities. ICTs for uh, lifelong learning promote lifelong learning by ICT. ICTs are a potentially powerful tool for extending educational opportunities, both formal and non-formal, to previously un uh, underserved constituencies, scattered and rural populations groups traditionally excluded from education due to culture or social reasons such as ethnic minorities, girls and women, persons with disabilities, and that elderly as well as all others who for uh, reasons of cost or because of time constraints or unable to enroll or campus. Anytime, anywhere, one defining feature of ICTs is their ability to transcend pace. So evaluative learning, ICT enhanced learning is a student directed and diagnostic. Unlike static, uh, print-based educational technologies, ICT enhanced learning recognizes that there are many different learning pathways and many different uh, articulations of knowledge. ICTs are allow learners to explore and discover rather than merely listen and remember. So uh, integrative learning, ICT enhanced learning promotes a thematic integrative approach to teaching and learning. This approach eliminates the artificial separation between the different disciplines and between theory and practice that is the traditional classroom approach. So in this time, it's a creative learning, ICT-supported learning, promotes the manipulation of existing information and the creation of real-world products rather than the reorientation of received information. Different cultures, uh, collaborative learning, ICT supported learning encourages interaction and cooperation among students, teachers, and experts, regardless of where they are. Apart from modeling real world interaction, ICT supported learning provides learners the opportunity to work with people from different cultures, thereby helping to enhance learners' uh, teaming and communicative skills as well as their global awareness. It models learning I've done throughout the learner's lifetime by expanding the learning space to include not just peers, but also mentors and experts from different, different fields. So that's all from my side. If you have any questions, any query, then please ask me. Participants, the session is open up for discussion. You can even post your queries in the chat box. Participants, any queries, please? You can post your queries in the chat box also. Participants, any queries, please?
Goklavani, ma'am, any queries, please? Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, shall we uh, wind up, ma'am? Yeah, ma'am, sure, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, we have a query, ma'am. Uh, Nisha, uh, what are the types of mapping? Basically, it's a mind mapping and uh, mind mapping and uh, it's a how can you evaluate and how can you handle and how can you solve your problems? Because it's psychological mapping and mind mapping, it's, it's there are different different things. But when we psychologically handled handled and when we psychologically satisfied, then after that mind mapping, it's beneficial for all students and teachers and, and this times ICT tools. So when we satisfied through the mappings and through the psychologically satisfied, and after that there is a mind mapping. So how can we appropriate use of uh, tools and recognizably appropriately and sequentially we use these things and it's basically a thing that how can we evaluate and how can we understand the thing just like suppose um, you are a student and you are in the class and your uh, psychology and your mindset is not proper understanding what is what to do and how can you do then we use and uh, through you through television like we already said that uh, in our the last this manners that how can we handle that thing and how can we evaluate all things through mind mapping and we solve the problem and we have if we have an answer then we evaluate these answers and through mapping and through mind mapping we through this, we have uh, students, and students also help ourselves and their self that uh, how can they psychologically satisfy and through mind mapping. Thank you, ma'am. Participants, any queries, please? Participants, you can post your queries in the chat box also. I hope there is no query, ma'am. Shall we wind okay. up, ma'am? OK, ma'am. On behalf of IoT Academy, I would like to thank Dr. Ankita for informatory and educative talk on this topic. It has been a worthwhile for all the participants. Thank you for joining with us today, ma'am. I also thank the participants who have joined here for this section. Participants, your certificates will be delivered through mail tomorrow. Kindly check in the spam folder also. I request all the participants to kindly submit the feedback form that has been posted in the chat box. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Listen to you, can see.